What the heck? Okay, perfect. So we are gonna start. Uh, thank you, everybody, for, for, for being here and people on Zoom. Uh, welcome and thank you so much for coming today. I am Alejandro Delgado, part of the committee of the department seminar series. Uh, we are on hip hybrid mode, so please uh, keep your microphones mute and mute them only on the Q&A section so we can avoid any uh, uh, stops with the, with the, with the sound. Uh, we have today Daniel Malpati. He's a graduated from the mining engineering department at the National University of Engineering in Peru. He has a postgraduate stu studies in mechanical engineering at the department from the Universidad Pontificia, Católica Pontificia de Peru. He currently works as a technical director in the mine and poles. And also he has more than 10, 10 years of experience working in four of the six deepest mines in Peru, leading the mine ventilation department and in different mining projects. He worked also in the optimization of several mining ventilation systems in Peru, Mexico, and Russia, and also designing systems to improve the environmental conditions in the deepest, highest mining above sea level, uh, but also controlling the high deep mining phenomena that affect the environmental conditions, generating a positive impact in the operation performance. Uh, Mr. Napati will be talking to us about the phenomena in the mining ventilation system. So thank you so much, Daniel, for speaking with us today. And start uh, now to our new team, just to minimize the... Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I want to... Uh, good afternoon to everyone. Thanks to the organizers and to you for the chance to participate in this excellent talk and share with your or experience in my ventilation. For improve the communication, I, I shut down my camera. Okay, let's start. In this opportunity, we will talk about mine ventilation, its, its importance, its main components, and the different phenomena that occur during its operation. Please be careful with some videos because they are noisy. Mine ventilation have ever been part of the underground operations. Since the early days, have accompanying the mining process, allowing safety working conditions. As we see in the left image, there is an all mine ventilation system with a main and auxiliary system actuated by bellows, light to blower. In the right picture, we can see the mechanisms of how these bellows extract the polluted air like an exhaust fan in the present. The importance of mine ventilation is associated to the basic requirement of the human to obtain oxygen for their vital functions. It's important to consider the three rules for survival to understand the importance of this. A person can survive up to three days or three weeks without eating up to three days without drinking water, but only up three minutes without the necessary oxygen content in the air. The oxygen amount will allow you to carry out an internal combustion process to generate the necessary energy and eliminate the pollutants generated like carbon dioxide. A main ventilation system works like the circulatory system of the human body, 
The arteries are the fresh air circuit and the veins are the exhaust air circuit. In the middle are located the working areas in which contaminants need to be evacuated to improve the conditions. Main fan perform like a, a heart, forcing continuous airflow through a complex network of branches. Like veins and arteries, the branches are characterized by having different wall surface. It composed several circuits with different characteristic walls. These walls will have a specific roughness that will influence in the resistance to the move of airflow in the system. This roughness depends on rock mass quality, construction methodology, and rock support used in the excavation. Another important element to control the air distribution in the ventilation network is the use of elements like regulators. This increases the resistance of the branch, reducing the airflow and improve the distribution of air where is necessary to improve the environmental conditions. These regulators can be static orifice with a specific resistance constructed with chocolate or concrete blocks. Or we can use some dynamic resistance like doors or curtains, like two dampers, for example, to regulate the airflow according to the operation. For all fluid system, the characteristic of the fluid are important. Know that temperature, humidity, and barometric pressure of the site are important to know the density of the air and the power required for the system operation. The altitude respect to the sea level will establish the characteristic of the air, as we can see in the following pictures. In the first graphic we can see a mine surface condition near to the sea level where the air density is about 1.2 kilograms per cubic meter with a barometric pressure of about 99 kilopascals and a maximum temperature of 32 degrees in the right graphic we can see a mine near to 4300 meters above sea level with an air density of about 0 0.7 kilograms per cubic meter, with a barometric pressure of about 59 kilopascals and a minimum temperature of minus 5 degrees. This means the second mine needs only 60% of the power of the first mine for the same airflow and the same resistance. This only for a change in the air density. This change impact in the capex and opex of the project because the size and consumption of the electric components are total different. As we see in the last slide, the variation of the barometric pressure generates a significant variation of the air density. Inside a mine, this effect can also be observed, especially in mines with dips greater than 500 meters. We can observe that the effect of the decompression of the air, which generates the condensation of the humidity contained in the air and the generation of mist inside the mine. In the video on the left, we can observe this phenomenon in which we have a normal visibility in a mine ramp without fog or mist. However, only 30 meters above, the mist complicate the visibility, the visibility in the ramp. 
When we overlay the causes, we observe that the fog is generated spontaneously meters below because the air has a high humidity content and it is released when the barometric pressure decreases when the air goes up in the ramp. A similar effect is present in, my, in ventilation races, how we can see in the next slides. On the other hand, as we know, the heart is the key part of the circulatory system. Without it, blood cannot travel through the network of veins and arteries. Similar, in most cases, we need a fan to generate enough airflow to cover the demand required for activities inside the mine. Fans can be classified in different ways. According to type, we can talk about axial or centrifugal fans mainly. According to their function in the system, we can talk about main or principal, secondary, and auxiliary fans. The most common fan is the actual because it has operational advantage by containing all its components inside the casing, allowing its safe transport and operation. The principal component of fans are the electric drive, the rotor with aerodynamic blades and the flow aligner. This set convert the electrical energy into aerodynamic energy from kilowatts to cubic meters per second and pascals with a higher efficiency. In the following graph, we can see the fan characteristic operation curve in which normally for a certain pressure, the fan will operate at a certain flow rate, as we can see in the blue lines. In this opportunity, we will focus on the orange area, which is called the unstable operation zone. It is characterized by a high operation pressure at a low flow rate. However, we can observe for a given pressure, the fan will fluctuate between different flow rates, generating an alternating stress on the components. This phenomenon is called a stall. In the video on the left, we will listen the characteristic song of a fan operating in a stall region. This song is like the blowing of an old train and must be an alarm of a potential premature failure of the equipment. Be careful with the noise, please. En este momento estamos escuchando un ventilador en un, en un tajo, aunque no se ve la comunicación. Al parecer eh, se ha dejado obstruida o el, el, la comunicación está casi bloqueada y escuchamos lo que es el efecto Stoll, ¿no? Debido a esto vamos a proceder a verificar el ventilador y eh, de acuerdo a ello procedemos a paralizarlo ya que podría generar un daño mayor en el mismo. In the next video, we will observe the behavior of the fan, in which we can see how the fan operates intermittently between two flow rates due to a high side system resistance.
In this case, the ventilation race was obstructed for the minefield in a production stop. To avoid some damage in the fan, it's necessary to open the communication to reduce the resistance. The fluctuation between two rates generate an alternating stress over the components, affecting mainly the structure of the fan and the aerodynamic blades, because several of these are long elements. The crack have a characteristic footprint with a fine grain for the slow cracking and a coarse grain for the final breaking. It is similar to bend a wire many times to break that. Another important aspect that must be considered is the heat amount generated and provided by a fan, especially if we are in areas with extreme weather. In Arctic areas, this could help us to improve conditions, heating the air, but if we are in hot conditions, we, will, we could increase the temperature and affect the working conditions. An adequate exhalation of the fan with a high efficiency will help us to minimize the energy wasted as heat. The planning is important because we need to define is the fan work like impeller or exhaust to use or avoid the effect of this heat. The presence of water filtration in underground mines is very common, especially in exhaust ventilation branches, like ventilation races, because these have a negative pressure generated by exhaust fans, like to, to straw to drink water. This inducted water flow can complicate the system because for certain air velocity, the water can float in the air, increasing the resistance of the system could be generated and installed operation on the fan. In low velocity rates, the water fall to the floor, but in high velocity rates, the water will be dragged to the fan, affecting their components, mainly the electric drive. One of the most problematic pollutants in underground mines is the dust. The dust is part of the mining process because we need to break the rock. In several mines, the use of ore passes increases the production performance, but several problems are related to the difference of caves because the mineral gain a high speed in the fall. In a deep mine, the ore pass height can be more than 700 meters. The draw points to the ore pass can be several and have different of height of about 100 meters or more, depending on the ore body and mining method. Because this, the piston effect can be induced in this draw point. The piston effect generates a dusty airflow from the orpas to the working areas, increasing the concentration of dust in the environment and affecting the visibility, increasing the risk.
control the piston effect, many options can be tried, but maybe the most effective is an appropriate working protocol where only one level through mineral while the other are closed with restricted elements like doors. En este momento vamos a ver el efecto pistón sobre una puerta ubicada en un echadero. Como vemos inicialmente el efecto pistón sopla. can see the piston effect generate a positive and negative pressure and this induce a, air, a dusty airflow to the working areas. If we consider the presence of dust and water in a fan, we can't avoid the erosion of the components because the rotation velocity of the fan blades is high. This phenomenon can occur when the fan exhausts air from a ventilation rays with presence of water filtration or for the humidity condensation for the decompression of the air. Maybe these ventilation rays have the objective of control the dust dispersion, exhausting air with a high concentration of dust. The high rotation velocity of the fan blades generate a continuous impact of a small but hard particles, and the water clean the blade surface for a new impact. This continuum process wear the blades of the fan and reduce the efficiency. We can see how the erosion of the blaze Finally, the presence of gases associated to the mineral are very common in underground mines. Some of these gases are explosive at specific concentrations and others are corrosive. For example, in the case of the hydrogen sulfide, at high concentration, the gases can be dissolved in the water, water than, that can be generated by the process of decompression of the air when the airflow rays to the surface, generating drops of sulfuric acid, affecting the steel of the casing and the aluminum of the fan blades. Several layers of protection paint can be applied, but this only delay the process. In a long term, 
the damage can be avoided. In this picture, we can see the effect of the corrosion, breaking the fan case in a mine of sulfuric minerals light to pyrite, with a high concentration of sulfuric gases. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you so much, Daniel, uh, for your presentation, your uh, practical approach, and uh, examples uh, illustrated the system work. Uh, if you want, you, you can uh, turn on your, uh, yeah, you have it right now, turn it off. Is there any question here in the room or any questions in the audience in, in the Zoom session? Please raise your hand and ask your question. Uh, I have a question, uh, Danielle. Uh, at the beginning of the presentation, you told us about the importance of the ventilation in the whole uh, system, or in the whole mining system. Do you have any example to illustrate us any uh, the, the significance of, of ventilation in the whole uh, project in terms of economics uh, or in terms of finance, what percentage? <laughs> related or linked with the ventilation. Sorry, can you repeat to your question, please? Sure, I was about the economics of the uh, ventilation system in the whole project. If you have any uh, reference about uh, any percentage of the a ventilation system in the, in the economics of the project. So we can understand the relevance of, of this system. Okay. Okay. With respect to the economics, uh, it's very important to consider the, the COVID law. We need to remember uh, the power of the ventilation system depends on the Qubit of the airflow. If we, it's important to calculate the demand of the project to have an effective dimension of the equipment and the power consumption of the project. For example, in a recent project, for the initial estimation, the capex was estimated in about uh, $20 million for, for, for only four funds, for only uh, four main funds. And this is only for, uh, because they, they don't, don't use the correct parameters to estimate the, the airflow. With a reduction of only the ten percent of the of the airflow, you can save uh, maybe about a thirty percent uh, or more of that, only making a adequately estimation of the airflow. I, I consider this is the the main the main parameter of the main uh, law when we make a design of a mine ventilation system. Maybe in, in another situation, we, we use uh, great safety factors, maybe in geomechanics for design the, the, the rock support. We, we want to use a safety factor of, of 20% or maybe 20, 25%, but 
20, 20% or 20, 25% in, in my ventilation maybe represents the, the double, the double of the consumption of the consumption of, of power. And this represents and, uh, main funds with, with uh, electric drive with a double of the power. And the, the OPEX, the operation cost is the double, the double too, uh, only for increase the, the airflow in 20%. So, because that uh, a safety factor, the use of safety factors in, in the air, in, in the estimation of the air uh, is, is very, is very complicated in my ventilation. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Is is is. Yeah, yeah. That was clear for me. Okay. Okay. Any other question here for yes. the audience? Yes. Um, I have a question. Can you hear me? Yep. Please go ahead. Oh, okay. So, uh, Daniel, thanks for the wonderful presentation. So I saw the title of your presentation and I saw advances in mind ventilation, mice and flu. So I was expecting you to talk about um, uh, ventilation simulation network tools or computer tools, or even some recent developments in ventilations like uh, CFD applications in ventilation. Uh, but unfortunately you didn't uh, make mention of that. So I just want to know, uh, based on your experience in the industry, uh, because many of times we say simulation or modeling is, is just a way to mimic uh, a real life scenario. So I want to, I want to ask if uh, you have been using any form of simulation or CFD to actually solve real life problems in, in your deep underground mines. Uh, since you didn't talk about that in your presentation, so I just want to know, if um, from your past experiences uh, in ventilation, if you have been using any computer applications or uh, probably the CFD, if, and I want to know if they have been useful in uh, real life designs, thank you. Okay. Uh, when we talk about simulation, uh, we, we need to, to know Oh, we need to talk about two different simulations. The, maybe when you want to analyze some specific point of the circuit, maybe a, a vent or maybe the, the fan installation, we need to use the CFD, the CFD to, to oh. analyze that specific point, how the, the air uh, flow in in that specific place. Okay. But but when we want to to do a a, a mine planning, a mine ventilation planning, we need to analyze the integral ventilation circuit. And in this case, we need to use uh, software simulation, like to Benson or or Buma or Aeroset in, in Russia, for example. Uh, this is totally different because uh, we, we use uh, elements. Every, every, branch, every branch of the circuit is an element in the, in the algorithm of the, uh, in the algorithm to, re to resolve uh, networks. Uh, and you you don't see a specific a specific losses, for example, shock losses or turbulence or or maybe uh, how that, how the air expand in a in a plane, for example, when you install a, a fan. Oh, okay. In, in my experience, I, I use if uh, simulations to to improve or to analyze the, 
the possibility to, to improve uh, a mine ventilation installation. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I, I, I want to show. I want to show that. I want to show that. Uh, we have some time. Okay. Uh, it's here. Uh, it's here. Okay. You can see my screen. Yes, yes. Okay. For example, this. In this case, yeah. we have the installation of two fans in parallel. This is a burn brace. And I have oh, we, we have uh, this fan and in the other branch we have another branch, another fan. Uh, for that, what, what is the problem with this installation? Because you you have a reduction of the of the area. The mm -hmm. flow increase her its velocity, and it's can generate uh, many turbulence and increase the the resistance and increase and generate vibrations on the on the structure of the of the installation, and we can see the, that no? this is the the CFD simulation and. We can identify the the velocity or high high velocity sounds, mm -hmm. but what is the problem of this? Mm? Next to this is the fan, and the problem is the airflow and en enter to the fan with a uh, with different velocities. This generate a, a a momentum in in the in the rotor of the fan and induce um, and induce a vibration on the components. This fan is it, it, breaking continu continuously. I, I don't remember, but uh, I think this fan every three months is out of, of service. Oh, okay. The intention of the, of our client is improve this. For that, we analyze different uh, different options like this. We we make a plan. And with these uh, models, we we proceed to analyze what is the the airflow distribution in this plenum, and how is the the velocity profile for the for the or enter to the fan. For this airflow. for the kind for yeah. this. Kind I think of, I think you have answered my question. Sorry. Yeah, I think you have answered my question. Yeah, I said, yeah, I think you have answered my question. Ah, no, okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then we have another another question uh, in the chat. If you want to read it in the chat. Why don't you read it just yeah. for ease of saying? It says, it's from Gandhi. It says, for your presentation, Danielle, I am curious if you ever had to deal with sulfur dioxide. Will you share what was your plan and how effective it was? It thanks in advance. Sorry, can you repeat, please? I, I, sure. I heard very, very far. Sure. Uh, the question is, uh, I am curious if you have ever had to deal with sulfur dioxide, and if you would share what was your plan and how effective was this plan. Sorry, what is my plan about that? About, about what? Have to deal with sulfur dioxide. Uh, I suppose in the, in the underground uh, atmosphere. You can see the, the question in the in the chat. Okay, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for me. I am curiosity if you ever had to deal with for the obesity. Uh, what was your plan and how effective is oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay. Yes, yes, I, I have experience with, with that. Uh, this is this is my experience with uh the, the sulfur dioxide 
this is my experience. <laughs> this is in, in a mine. This is a mine in Peru. Uh, all all the mine is in place in 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 Perita. And the gas is permanent permanent in in this case. No, uh, the, the problem the problem of of use the traditional uh, methods, for example, filters or or air washers, no? used in in many in many plants or in many industrial plants, uh, is uh, the the quantity of air used in these industrial plants. Is very small with respect to the, the air used in mine ventilation systems. Because of that, it's very complicated to use, for example, uh, air washers or maybe uh, uh, caliza. I, I don't know how, how do you say caliza to to neutralize the the, the acid of the of the of the air. In my opinion, to avoid these problems is to is is try to avoid the the, the forming or the dilution of the gas in in the water. The the oxygen the oxygen sulfur is very very easy to dilution to, to dilute it in the in the water and because that is is very easy to form uh, acid sulfuric if you have a song with with these gases the best is maybe install the the fan near to the near to the to the song, to the great, to the gas song, and try to exhaust these uh, these gases uh, dry, no? very very dry. If, if you exhaust the dry, the gases dry, you don't have the problem of the sulfuric acid, and don't have this problem to affect the the, the structure of the ventilation or the fan, no? the structure of the fan. This is maybe the in my opinion, in my opinion, in my experience, the best form to to affront this this problem. Okay, okay. Daniel, thank you again. Thank you so much for your presentation, and thank you everybody for coming today. Uh, remember that this mining seminar takes place every Wednesday, and you can find more information about the speaker series on the department website at mining.minds.edu or in our departmental LinkedIn page. So thank you for coming uh, today again and we'll see you in the next in our next seminar. Have a great rest of your day. Bye bye. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Thank you much.